Hi Aries, how are you? I hope you are well. I hope you're fine. I hope you're safe wherever you are right now, Aries. This reading for today, Aries, is for the uh, first week of March 2021. <laughs> this reading is for you, okay? This is for the Aries friends out there. What is the love message for Aries? What can I get for Aries, please? What is the message for Aries, okay? Before I start, Aries, I would like to thank you for coming back. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks for supporting my channel. Thanks for everything. Guest viewers, if you haven't, click the subscribe button and the bell. Oh, you've got two of cups. Wow, exciting. Please do it now, guest viewers. Click the bell, click subscribe. And if you would like to further support my channel, Aries, you know what to do. All of the details that you need to know in order to support my channel is all down in the description box below. Check out the online store or the shop. It's free shipping worldwide, all of the product. It comes with a free tarot reading session for me. So type your question, type your manifestation, and I will get back to you with your free private reading. Check out the blog. We have put some interesting content for you to read. Say, for example, you know, how to accept love again. We also put in there a list of, of all the power dates, the new moon and the full moon, which is very helpful for manifestation and releasing you know, new energy and releasing old, not so good energy in our lives. So take that as a guide date. It's in there and some manifestation um, routine that I could share to you guys during full moon, full moon and new moon. It's in the website. It is, it's in the blog. And um, so in today's reading, this is a weekly reading. Okay, this is a love reading, a pure love reading. I will be looking at the past situation, our past energy. I will be intuitively looking at the blockages, the current energy. And then I'm going to be looking at the future of the this connection, uh, predictive outcome and advice. Depending on the message that I will, be, I will pick up for today, Aries, I will let you know if there is a need to extend the reading, okay? So let's start your reading, Aries. The first card in your past position, past energy, is the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Wands. Wow. This is hard. This is a very complicated or a situation where um, it's one-sided. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, the Ten of Wands. It is an energy where you've given all of the care, the love, the attention. You gave this person or you gave love. You gave love a second chance. You trusted love. You trusted this, you trusted this person. You gave love a second chance. You, you gave it all. Ten of Wands. Look at that. Ten of Wands. Um, looking back in the past energy, Ten of Wands, it was complicated. You gave it all. You put all of your fire into this to make it work. You didn't even, um, you don't care about it. It's a feeling of you've sacrificed a lot to make it work. You did not actually consider yourself. You have always put the interest of this person. You're, you, you gave it all. You put you put your trust into this person. You, you know, you've taken a risk. Um, there is also an energy in here where you did not listen to your friends or your family. You did not listen to society. You didn't listen at all. You just followed your heart, put all of your fire. And at the end, it gave you an ace of pentacles in reverse. You know, what you were expecting was this. This is what's fair for you. What's fair for you, Aries, is to get the ace of, Pentac ace of Pentacles, you know. Out of everything that you do, you did, you gamble, you take a risk. This is what you deserve, the Ace of Pentacles. But it is in reverse. And you came to a point, Aries, to a realization that life is not fair. That no matter how you put all of your fire your energy your love your feelings your effort into something if the person is not going to value that or is not going to reciprocate that it will turn out to be ace of pentacles in reverse not worth it no no cost no um no value it did not match the value you put into okay 
there's no return of investment. Justice card. Um, you've realized something big. You've realized that you won't take part into something that um, into something that is not fair. You have to go through this, you know, in order for you to reach the justice card. It's more of it's more of a reading Aries where you have to go to extremity to failure, giving giving it a go again, stepping back, trying it again, giving it a chance, failing, and then trying again. So you have to experience that cycle of, you know, success, failure, attempt, fail, success, failed again, in order for you to realize that justice card. If I cannot, if this person cannot treat me fair, if this person or if love it, if I cannot get a fair trial in love, I will take it with me and I'll get my justice. Okay? So your fears. In spite of everything that happened, complication, betrayal, on and off, ghosting, whatever you call it, in the name of love, it's still worth it because you realize what's worth it, what's meant for you to fight and what's meant for you to have so there's a huge huge um like in summary justice card in here you know you've you've come to a point where i know what is right for me i know the justified result um there is also an element in here aries where your person okay i'm directly channeling your person your person has so many excuses um, the previous relationship, the previous connection, they have so many excuses. They don't prioritize you. You need to put all of the work um, on behalf of them to make it work. Most especially if you're Aries who's in a relationship, like it burnt you out because it's always you, you know. And you've realized, you know, from past to present, two of cups. Um, if a person loves you, if a person likes you, if you are important to a person, this person will give you justice. This person will give you a balanced approach. This person will give you the justice card and the two of cups together. Okay. You are in a, some sort of a trail, a trail to, you know, a trail, your work you're transitioning into a path where you know what is the right two of cups there's a two of cups in the current energy okay there's a two of, there is a two of cups in the current energy it means that whoever you came in contact with or in a relationship or you break up with you know this romantic connection this connection in the past it is still there but you're realizing that there's something not fair about how they treat you, how they respond to you. There's something out of balance or out of sync in terms of the Two of Cups. There is a problem with the Two of Cups. You know, this Two of Cups, there is an attachment that you are still connected. You're still interest, interested, but there's a bind. It's binded by a lion and a snake. And this should not be a heavy burden. This should be something that um you know it makes it it this this snake in here and the lion it serve as a binder it serve as a as a, an energy to bind you together to make you stronger but not to break you apart so the experience the experience the love and loss the success the failure the rejection the up and down this is the experience this is the experience that you had, they had. And from here, from the fail, success, fail, stop, go, um, on, off. This, it, these are all experience. And it gets better. That's why you've got the justice card in upright position. That you fail, you love, you fail, you love again. You try, you fail, and then you try, you get succeed. And then somehow, so it, it is a, you know, it's like a graph. There's good days, there's bad days, good days and bad days. That's a love cycle, okay? So, but what propel you to, to love again, to try again, to give it a chance? It's because 
there is this experience. The experience of two of cups, you know. The, the most difficult thing that you would do in this lifetime, in my opinion, is to love another human being. And you know that because you've experienced love, loss, disappointment, but you have a two of cups in the current energy. You get me? It means that, you know, in an ideal world, no matter how you say, I won't, you know, I will reject you. I won't love again. I won't let you in. I won't talk to you. At some point that I won't will heal. And there's going to be a two of cups born. So right now, in the current energy, two of wands, king of wands, you're not okay. You could be in a connection in the current energy where you're not talking or they're very aloof. You're very, alo very aloof. Or it could be you break up. Because your person is hiding. Your person is quiet. They're learning. Your person is studying justice and how you how they get you justice. While in your case, two of cups, you still have a feelings with this person. But you have identified that I need justice. I need something fair. I've experienced love lost. Love lost again. But, you know, two of cups, it's so hard to resist and forget. You still want to experience the Two of Cups. So in the current energy, you're still going to experience the Two of Cups. You're still going to experience love. You're still going to experience some sort of connection towards your person. It is a Two of Cups that is a bit weird. It is a Two of Cups that's not as settled versus before. But it is a Two of Cups. There's something in the making about you and your person. There is also an energy from two of cups, the two of wands, the king of wands, that you guys are in some level still have a feelings with one another, but is figuring out what's next. Your person, they're surrounded by a lot of knowledge, a lot of learning, a lot of things. Um, it's it's running in their head in their life. You know, this is a very good card. This is something that you can trust. And on top of it is the justice card, which means that your person, they might not be as responsive, as intense. They might not act as interested as they are. But there's so much happening in the background that you don't see. And that is justice. Well, in your case, I see that you're ready and you're willing to experience this two of cups, if not with a thing. If not with the same person, with a new person, or in general, you know, you would still experience the Two of Cups. For you, this is a stage that I'm really getting a strong vibe. You can't deny love. You cannot deny a Two of Cups. When this, knock, when this one knocks in your door and it's full of fire, you can't deny this. Two of Cups. The person that you're manifesting or the person you have experienced this love, loss, betrayal, or some sort of disconnection, they're very quiet. They're into justice card, thinking of how to step forward on making it right for you, on a remission of what is right, what is wrong, and learning all of this failure, the failure and the success attached to Two of Cups. Okay, while in your case, you don't have any plan soon, but you're still open for a two of cups, whether the same person or if it's a new person, love is here. There is a two of cups on fire. Okay, um, in the current energy, uh, sorry, in the future connection, predictive outcome and advice, you've got the five of swords. There is a lot of healing and, um, quiet it's going to be quiet from current energy up until to the immediate future things will be very quiet between the two of you um if you guys are still in talking or you're still in communication um your person is not interested to fight your person will remain quiet if your communication is um if the your person will avoid conversation if your communication or the content of your conversation is leading to a fight. If it's triggering a fight, your person will keep their silence, okay? And 
because of that, you guys are, are going to come to a point of a five of swords in reverse in order for you guys to heal, to remove the toxic, to be ready for the two of cups again is silence. There's going to be silence between the two of you. And it might scare you. It might scare you of losing the two of cups. You know, at some point, Aries, you will feel like it's been four months, it's been two months, two years, or one year, nine, nine months that you don't have a love romantic. This is silence. Okay, this is silence getting ready again. The nearest connection that I could pick up for you, Aries, okay, is still someone in the past. Okay, four of cups. So I get that you want love. You still wanted to connect and you still wanted to be connected from someone in the past. And the closer, the closest energy for you to have love or romantic connection is still someone in the past. I want you to um, don't worry about rushing things. Four of Cups, it will arrive when this person is ready to talk. Six of Cups, they haven't moved on. They haven't figured out how to give you justice or how to speak up and, you know, taking accountability of their action in the past to present and in the future. There is a silence between the two of you and that's okay. Because I see you two of Cups and them. At some point, you would have a conversation and one of you will lead the conversation into getting back again into something romantic. It is not ready. Don't force it. Um, do not be scared that you will totally lose this person or love itself. I don't think so. Um, the, you know, the predictive outcome and advice in here, Aries, is that, Aries, is that you have experienced the two of cups. The abnormal two of cups and the normal two of cups. If things are silent or slow, it's because there's something in the background that's being fixed for you. So you're being asked to be patient. Be patient with you. In, you know, in times like this, you need to heal. In times like this, you need to get ready. Check your attitude. Check your behavior. Love yourself. You know, um, do you. Put all of the energy in order to get ready for the renewal of this Two of Cups. It's still from the past. That's what I'm getting in here. Closer, getting getting into the Aries season or closer to your birthday. This is where I see this person more available, more interactive, more participative, more on... They will be able to come up with help to give justice to you. Okay? So Aries... Take it easy. You are experiencing a different level of Two of Cups. There's a learning. There's love. There's failure. There's renewal. And there's something to look forward again. Okay? Thank you, Aries. I hope you liked the reading. Please hit the subscribe button and the bell. Check out the website. Check out the blog. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.